Stage seven is a late dementia. I don't want to dwell on that. That's where most things are shut down. It's basically a vegetative state. And most people, again, don't live to that state. They can't walk, they can't talk, they can't feed themselves. But if you do, we need treatment strategies for that. You don't place at stage seven. I mean, if you're going to place, it's going to be earlier. Stage seven is going to need more intense skilled nursing care because it's a biological problem, it's not a cognitive problem anymore. Are there any statistics how long someone lasts in stage seven? Is there any statistics how long it's going to last in stage seven? You guys have to help me with this. I don't know of any statistics. I've seen that go very fast, and I've seen it go agonizingly slow. What's the longest you guys have seen? I've seen a couple of years. Five, four or five years. Could it depend on their health at time? Yes. It depends on how aggressive you are with treatment. It depends. It's a really terrible place to be. If you're dealing with that, my sympathies, because I know that wrenches you. That's something that I don't even know that I can do a good talk with that. that, that because we do have no rules for dealing with it. And it's end of life issues. And again, the thing that I see most helpful as a rule is if you haven't already considered talking to people with hospice, because some of the hospice workers here are really good to help you through that situation. 